David Barnson with me this morning to cover the markets. I'm saying that this sell-off is the direct result of a sharp rise in interest rates this morning. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. It's happened in the last two days. The bond yields are slightly higher. But I do disagree with something you said in the opening about uh, the Fed retreating on cuts and that causing the market. That went on for the whole quarter, and the market was up 10%. Fair enough. And we went from expecting six cuts to three cuts, starting in March to starting in June, and the market couldn't have cared less. Okay. I think the bond yields, though, stocks and bonds are still very heavily correlated. So if we've had two days now. If, yeah. if the selling continues today, we've got two days of selling. Is this the start of something bigger? Well, it's impossible to say, but I know you want me to answer, so I'll just guess and say 50-50. Um, Stuart, here's what it is. The, you, the market's very expensive. And so bond yields going higher makes the stock market more vulnerable to selling off because of the high valuation. Got it. That, David, stay there, please. You're with me for the hour. Yep. Tesla's delivery numbers. Well, look at the stock down 6%. That's a big hit. Yeah. Take me through the numbers. Okay. So in the first quarter, first three months of the year, they produced over 433,000 vehicles, delivered 387,000. David, what do you make of those numbers? Um, I think that they were going to need to go above the production estimates to get a stock. Uh, I think there was a whisper that they were going to uh, outperform expectations and they underperformed. I don't think it matters much quarter over quarter. I take what they said accurately that there were some lumpy things that happened. But what's interesting to me, Stuart, they don't produce any other cars. I cannot believe that of that total number, I'm looking at the data here, uh, I thought that they were expanding the whole product suite. They only produced 19,000 of any other cars besides the flagship Model 3. That's it? Yeah, it's uh, 20,000 produced last quarter. I've heard forecasts that Tesla will have to go down to about $100 a share before it's worth buying. But that's just something I picked up on the ether, so to speak. Just keep in mind, it's down well over 50% right now from yes, its high. It is. Thanks, David. David Barnes is with me. You think Trump's messaging will get through to Democrats? On the border, I think there's a good portion of Democrats that will, especially to independents who might be more likely to vote Democrat and on this issue could swing the other way. My concern with Trump's messaging is not if he can swing a lot of Democrats over. He needs to hold those Republicans that are skeptical of a lot of his messaging, the way he says certain things. And I worry about with young people that he has the right policies on the border, but doesn't always present it the way they want to hear. But he can always present Biden as just too old and ineffective to do the job. But well, he looks good. Uh, Biden will always be too old and ineffective to do the job. So Trump yep. can continue presenting that. But he can help himself by um, what he did in 2016. He pointed out all the things wrong with the country. And I still think he's doing too much of pointing out all the things unfair to him. He needs to be the story less about him and the story more about the country. Fair enough, David. Thank you. We saw what happened in October when the 10-year kissed 5 percent. The market sold off. The Nasdaq was off 12 percent. The S&P sold off 9%. And I think 5% is going to be that, that key level. Four and three quarters, five on the 10-year is, is going to be a key level of resistance. Uh, I think there has to be an adjustment. Just the way there's an adjustment in stock prices, there has to be an adjustment in housing prices. Got it. Uh, David Barnson still with me. Lucky guy. Do you, would you like to see a 5% sell-off so that you can jump in at lower prices? Well, I always want things to be cheaper. I do believe in buying lower. I don't consider 5% a sell-off. It's child's play. It's just, it's routine. Every year the market goes down an average of about 11%. By the way, the 10-year bond yield right now that is up suddenly, it's where it was two weeks ago. Okay, thank okay. you very much for pointing that out to us. Okay. Back in the day when the combustion engine was getting going in the early part of the 1900s, mm -hmm. there were hundreds of car makers. Eventually, they all shook out as the industry consolidated. That's what's happening with EVs, isn't it? Yeah, but the difference back then is you had a bunch of companies that made money that consolidated That's for true. better efficiency. Today, you have a whole lot of companies that don't make money. And so why consolidate with a money-losing company when your competition can just go out of business? If I was looking at a canoe right now when I was an EV maker, I wouldn't be very worried about it. Okay. <laughs> Let's get to Disney, shall we? Because there's a huge fight there between CEO Bob Iger and activist investor Nelson Peltz. Who's winning? Bob Iger. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that more than half of votes have been cast and the activist, Nelson Peltz, and his Tryon Capital Management may not get the two board seats that they're looking for. My question is, if, if Bob Iger wins and Peltz loses, mm -hmm. does Walt Disney stock go up? No, absolutely not. I've been watching Nelson Peltz since the 80s. Let me give everyone a little advice. Don't bet against Nelson Peltz.
Hmm. He may not win this vote tomorrow, but he's playing the long game. Disney stock has gotten crushed through a good market over the last two years. Uh, Nelson Peltz knows what he's doing. We'll wait and see on that one. Trump's social media stock, that's DJT, that's the symbol, is down big yesterday after they reported big losses. Yeah. They were down earlier this morning. Now they've rebounded to 50. What's going on? Can I call it a meme stock? I mean, it's been oh, called the mother of all meme stocks. Um, but the news yesterday, which is why the stock was down 20 percent, underscored the Grim fundamentals, $58 million in losses. Bonson's laughing. He always laughs. I would think these are like misprints, like we're reading the wrong numbers. A $6.6 billion value, and they did $4 million in revenue. I honestly think that the McDonald's on 6th Avenue did that yesterday. <laughs> okay? And, and it's trading at $6.6 billion valuation. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a meme stock. It's a gambling chip. This is not going to end well. You think it goes to zero? But it's up today. You do? I do. I do. It doesn't have a path to profitability. Twitter, that they now call X, is one of the largest, most successful social media companies ever. It doesn't make any money. And this is a social media company that exists entirely out of one man's platform. Uh, this, is, this is just total speculation. Okay, so let's move on to your dividends yeah. picks, which are not total speculation. You based stole on my line. Good fundamentals. Go feel right. Good fundamentals, good cash flows. It's sort of the opposite of a meme stock. Uh, American Electric Power is about as boring of a company as we own. What gets more boring than a utility? But they're the only utility we own. You got a 4.3% dividend yield. Utilities were out of favor. The sector came back in the first quarter a little. American Electric Power is the only utility that we want to own. I know it grows its dividend, but what does it pay now? 4.3%. 4.3%. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, Lamar Advertising, symbol L-A-M-R. Yeah, you know, when we bought it, it was paying 6.5%. It's now paying 4.5%, and the dividend's gone up. How is that possible? Because the stock is up big. Uh, they are doing a billion dollars of profit off of $2 billion of revenue. Very high margin, and they really are the monopoly of these billboards. They've converted a lot to digital, but they convert almost half of their revenue into profits. That's impressive. You think abortion is big enough to, for Trump to lose Florida on this? Not even close. There's no way he can lose Florida. Biden will win Florida as soon as Trump wins California. Both things are not going to happen. There are other issues in these battlegrounds states that are very, very tight. Wisconsin, Michigan, sure. Pennsylvania, those are the states that are going to determine this election. We seem to have agreement on this uh, set today. That's pretty, pretty good, I'd say. Monica, thanks for being here. Always Appreciate a pleasure. It. Thanks. Stick guys. around for one more 10 minute block. What do you think about getting squatters out? I think that uh, the Bible says in the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not steal. Squatting is stealing. It is a local issue. I loved what he said on the prior segment. The uh, federal government has nothing to do with this. Locally enforce the law. This is absurd, and it's a byproduct of an absurd society that would allow it to happen. A, a, a Shake Shack receipt. I have the Fox address on my pass this morning to get in. Maybe I own this building, building now. Careful. <laughs> but thanks for joining us for the hour. Yes, sir. Okay.